Lieutenant Victus? Commander Shepard, my men and I are in your debt. Thank you for saving so many. What happened here? He screwed up. Stand down, soldier. These men are dead because of him. I said, stand down. Hey, I just saved all your asses, so everyone just calm down. Lieutenant, what's going on here? I made a bad call. This is all on me. I chose caution and clever tactics over a head-on attack. And my men paid the price. You mean the crash? Yes. We could see on Hollow that Reaper forces were blocking our intended path. Staying on course guaranteed heavy casualties. So I chose a safer route, skirting the enemy. And that took us low and through these ruins. When we encountered resistance, there was no room to maneuver. Suddenly, we were in a fight for our lives. A lot of my men lost that fight. Making hard decisions and dealing with the consequences. That's what being a leader is about. You're right, Commander. Our mission's still a failure. When we've stabilized the injured, we'll head back to the fleet. You're abandoning your mission? We're down over 30 men. It'd be suicide. What exactly did you come here to do? There's a bomb on the planet. We were sent to defuse it. A bomb? How big? Enormous. Cerberus has it. Lieutenant, if Cerberus has that bomb, you have to finish your mission. Haven't these men sacrificed enough? Sacrifice is what we sign on for. They know that. And so should you. My men have lost hope, Commander. Even if I wanted to finish the mission, they don't. It's your job to make them want to. How? What's wrong with you? Inspire them, threaten them. Lieutenant, if Cerberus succeeds, the Reapers divide and conquer us. And then that is on them. Listen up. This isn't about your fears and grievances. Fears? We're only afraid of the next messed up order you give. Irrelevant. Court martial death and dishonor awaits anyone who walks at his duty. We are Turian. We finish what we came here to do, or we die trying. Shuttles arrive any minute, so get your asses in gear. Let's move! Commander, come with us. We're a shell of what we were. We could use the help. Send me the nav point. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. That'll give us time to do a little recon. See what we're up against. Victus, I've given you a second chance. Don't screw this up. Normandy shuttle, this is Lieutenant Victus with the 9th platoon. Do you copy? We hear you, 9th platoon. We're approaching the bomb site, Commander. Getting bounced around pretty bad. This is as close as we get, Lieutenant. Look for somewhere to set your platoon down. Copy that. Talk to me about this Cerberus bomb. It's not Cerberus, Commander. It's... Turian. What do you mean, Turian? It was planted centuries ago, after the Krogan rebellions. The bomb was a safeguard against another galactic war. Brutal, but it makes a certain kind of sense. Put the Krogan down hard if they tried anything. Makes sense. Couldn't trust the Krogan to play nice. But right now we focus on disarming that bomb. Yes, but Cerberus found it. Detonation means all-out war between my people and the Krogan. Right. Where is it? Those buildings ahead. Cerberus brought equipment to dig it up. The 9th platoon will cover your flank, Commander. With all this activity, the Krogan have to know something's up. Then we can't fail, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. Couldn't risk another galactic war with the Krogan. The Genophage wasn't enough? You needed another way to keep your pets chained? The decision was made hundreds of years ago. So much has changed. You still didn't tell us about the bomb, coward. Hey. The Reapers are out there destroying the galaxy, and you want to fight about this. Primark, you had a bomb on Tachanka. And Reeve, in the Turian's place, you would have done the same damn thing. Commander? It's over. His own son died today making this right. Please, Commander. It's all right. 
All right, Commander, I agree. We have stronger enemies to face. We do. <clears throat> I understand your reservations before, Commander. But I hope you now understand the secrecy. You kept this a secret and then put your son in charge? He couldn't handle it. Yes. You're right, Commander. It was a mistake not to trust you. I know that now. My son... He died with the respect of his men. I wanted to thank you for that. His sacrifice will be recorded in the histories of the Ninth Platoon. Something any father would be proud of. Yes, sir. Busy? I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. What's on your mind? How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans, we're not quite so widespread, but it would still take at least 100 years. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail, I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. Only 109, huh? I know, it must seem strange to complain about a thousand year lifespan. I used to think it was sad that most aliens live such short lives. Maybe it's not such a privilege to outlive so many. To witness so much death. Or you could keep fighting. I'll always try my best, Shepard. You know that. But if we lost you... We finally have other leaders on our side, but... None will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. I think of the people I care about. That helps keep me going. I'm glad I'm among them. I hope. Of course you are. I feel better already. Thank you for coming by, Shepard. Why don't we talk later? Detected at the landing coordinates. Joker, what have you got? Sensors show a Reaper parked at the Shroud facility. No way you're gonna be able to land a shuttle there. Get everyone assembled in the war room. I want eyes on the Shroud. Aye, aye, ma'am. New form of Reaper, Shepard. Using Shroud to poison Tuchanka's atmosphere. Problematic. Cowards! They're afraid to take us head on! Primark, we're gonna need your help. That could be difficult. Our losses on Palavin have been catastrophic. You said you'd help. It's time to deliver. What is it you need? A combined attack. Your people hit the Reaper with an airstrike. Reeve, at the same time, your soldiers will be attacking from the ground. Together, you can draw it away from the tower. Yes, distraction. Small team can reach Shroud facility, finish synthesizing cure. We'll need Eve to come with us. And it's now or never. Now! Today, the Krogan rise again! Commander, incoming message marked urgent. I'll put it in the comm room for you. Dalatras. Commander Shepard, we know you've reached Tuchanka. And by now, I imagine Morden Solus has proposed using the Shroud. Are you spying on us? Hardly. The Shroud is the only viable course of action open to you. Commander, you can't allow the diplomatic pressures of this war to cloud your judgment. Do you honestly believe curing the Genophage will end in lasting peace? No, I don't. 
The Krogan are too violent, but I don't have a choice here. Then allow me to offer you one. Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you're planning couldn't be done. Morden will likely detect this malfunction and repair it. But if you ensure that he doesn't, then the cure's viability will be altered just enough so that it fails. No one will notice the change. You mean trick the Krogan? They need not be any the wiser. Let Erdnot Reeve believe you fulfilled your promise. Morden would never stand for that. How you deal with him is up to you, Commander. We can provide you our very best scientists to build the Crucible, and the full support of our fleets. If I sabotage the cure. Think about it, Commander. The choice is yours. And so it begins. History will show the Clan Erdnot drew First Reaper blood. No time for bragging. The airstrike is on the way. Female safe, Shepard. Vitals are strong. Who let the Salarian onto Tachanka? They aren't welcome here. Multiple Krogan. Problematic. There's no time for this. Whatever grudge you have against Salarians ends right now. You agree with this, Reeve? We don't forgive our enemies. And we never will. But the time for revenge doesn't begin until I say it does! <laughs> You can stay here and let old wounds fester as Krogan have always done. Or you can fight the enemy you were born to destroy and win a new future for our children. I choose to fight. Who will join me? I don't want to regret curing the genophage. Do you want this or not? Of course they do! serious about avenging the genophage, Reeve. It would be a disaster for our people. Our people were made for war. It's what they want. And you need to be the leader who tells them they're wrong. Krogan already spread war across galaxy before. Genophage was result. Must learn from that. Otherwise, we'll share fate of ancestors. And would our ancestors forgive their enemies so easily? What were the ancient Krogan like? Tachanka wasn't always a wasteland. In the old times, the Krogan were a proud people. We had dreams, a future to look forward to. Until Salarian interfered. No, we destroyed Tachanka ourselves. Technology changed us. It made life too easy. So we looked for new challenges and found them in each other. Nuclear war was inevitable. Maybe, but that didn't give anyone the right to unleash the genophage on us. If the Reapers were to destroy Earth, I'd never stop avenging the loss. Ever. Spoken like a true Krogan. And how many generations of children would die to satisfy this bloodlust? It's the threat that matters. If our enemies fear even the idea of retribution, we have the power. But what would you do with that power, Reeve? <laughs> that would be telling. There's that look in your eye again, Commander. What's troubling you? Just thinking about Earth. Your courage for my people will be remembered. You won't be alone in your fight. Shepard, get in the truck. Thrak, watch your back. That Thresher Maw is still out there. Make it fast, Reeve. We're in the open here. Move it! Move, 
happen. We're in. Go. Your Krogan friend may still be alive. Rack was no friend. Now let's get moving. We got a Reaper to deal with. We don't have a plan for this. Vengeance is the goal. Suicide is not. We're not leaving here until the genophage is cured. I hope this idea you were talking about is a good one. It's not mine, it's hers. Kalros. We summon her to the Reaper. Would that even work? Already discussed strategy. Just need to distract Reaper, draw it from power while cure synthesized, released. What makes you so sure she'll come? Legends say she is the mother from which all other Thresher Maws spawn. This is as much her home as ours. Every living thing on this planet knows how to kill, and kill well. Her more than most. We flew through the Omega-4 relay and survived. We can do this. I didn't think a human could have that kind of courage. How would we summon her? The tower was built in an arena devoted to Kalros's glory. The Solarians thought she would scare away intruders. Appears to have worked. There are two Mahammers there, the largest in existence. If you can activate them, Kalros will come. That should distract the Reaper. Meanwhile, laboratory nearby. We'll finish synthesizing cure. We know why we're here and what's at stake. So let's make it happen. Shepard! Try not to get killed up there. Fight like a Krogan and you'll be fine. I can handle them. Go! See you on the other side. Stay alive, Shepard. We'll have cure ready. Go! Get back to the truck! I'll take care of the cure! Dispersal in two minutes. Procedure traumatic for Eve, but not lethal. Malin's research invaluable. She's okay? Headed to safety now. Her survival fortune. Reeve aggressive, warlike. Eve offers stabilizing influence. Can check Krogan aggression. Damn! Control room at top of Shroud Tower. Must take elevator up. You're going up there? Yes. Readings at lab suggest temperature malfunction. Could affect cure viability. Need to adjust settings manually. It's too dangerous, Morton. We need to get out of here. No. Temperature variants could destroy cure. Time running out. Have to go up. Morton! You're not going up. 
Not concerned for my safety. Concerned I might discover something. Sabotage? But whose? Ah. Why, Shepard? That desperate for Salarian aid? Or that afraid of Krogan? Every time we've talked about this before, you've defended the Genophage. Hell, I had to talk you into saving Malin's data. How can you change your mind now? I made a mistake! I made a mistake. Focused on big picture. Big picture made of little pictures. Too many variables. Can't hide behind statistics. Can't ignore new data. My responsibility. Need to go. Running out of time. Morden, walk away. Can't do that, Shepard. I don't have a choice here. Walk away or I will fire. Not your decision. Not your work. Not your cure. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. No time to argue. Cure dispersal imminent. Must counteract sabotage. Stop me if you must. No! Not... Not ready! What you've done for us, Commander, we may never be able to repay. This is a sacred resting place for our fallen. For too long, the bodies buried here have been Krogan killed by other Krogan. Today, you changed that. The despair has finally lifted. And now we'll have fresh recruits. You should see how fast we pop them out. The females will decide that, Reed. It's just a pity Morden had to die. He wouldn't have had it any other way. And I'm sure wherever he is, he's putting in a good word for us. And he'll remain anonymous. History can't show that a Solarian cured the Genophage. We'll know better. You can tell the Turians we'd be more than happy to show them how a war is won. We already killed one Reaper, didn't we? Goodbye, Commander. What will you do now? 
Spread the hope you've given us. Even now, there are clans gathering in the Kelphic Valley. I'll go speak to them and make sure this gift isn't squandered. Thank you for all that you've done. And know that Erdnat Bakara calls you a friend. Hell of a thing you just pulled off, Commander. Curing the Genophage? I never thought I'd see the day. Reeve has agreed to help the Turians, Admiral. We should get their full support. And the Solarians? How did you manage to get them on board? Careful diplomacy. Uh-huh. I don't think I want to know what that means. Doesn't matter. You're starting to put together a real alliance out there. Good work, Commander. Hack it. Out. Commander, Erdnot Reeve has begun sending troops to Palavan. You kept your end of the bargain, and now I'll keep mine. The Turian hierarchy will stand with humanity against the Reapers. We're going to need you. Don't forget where we live. Never. It's clear we all fight together, or die. It's open. Shepard, there's something you need to hear. All right. Is this a bad time? It's fine. Tell me what's going on. The Solarian Counselor has an urgent matter. Let me guess. She called the comm room. The Council must be taking the Crucible seriously. I'll see you downstairs. Commander, I understand the people of Palavin have a new hero. More like a couple million heroes, Counselor. I just got them motivated. Yes, I've spoken to Dalatros Linron. She says you've displayed remarkable foresight. It is thus, with a little hesitation, that I bring you the bad news regarding humanity's counselor, Donald Udina. He's been using his authority to move money, lots of it, and not to support the Alliance. Call CSEC if you need this investigated. There are potential problems with that scenario I'd rather not discuss right now. Come see me next time you're on the Citadel. Ishiel out.